Hi, and welcome back to Normski TV. Um, another review on the game yesterday. Um, Arsenal 4, Rapid Vienna 1. And it was a very good display by um, Arsenal. Especially by a few players in the team. Leading up to um, the game, it's a good prerequisite for the game coming up on Sunday against our big North London rivals, um, Tottenham. And yeah, it's, it's great um, us going into this um, game you know, with a little bit of confidence. Obviously, Rapid Vienna is not the quality of um, Spurs, but you know, at the end of the day, you, you can only play and beat who's in front of you. And we did have a, put in a very good, good performance um, against them. It will be that we um, qualified already, but you know we've scored 16 goals already in this competition. Compare that to the Premier League. Um, so you can see that we are playing with more freedom, especially in that game yesterday. I mean, I didn't see the start of the game. I was on another uh, uh, meeting, so I couldn't actually sort of see the first I think it was the first 15 but I did see Lacazette's goal and what a goal that was um, but I did manage to watch pretty much um, the second half but um, yeah it, it was it was uh, fantastic if you can hear banging in the background it's um, I'm having work done so excuse the noise <laughs> but yeah um, yeah I mean fantastic it, it, it was brilliant um, you know different players getting on the score sheet and Lacazette playing in that kind of deep um, like line 10 number 10 role um, looking at the, the, the team selection obviously I said in my preview I wanted to see a 4-4-2 I wanted to see Balogun and Lacazette up front um, but you know we all know um, Arteta loves Nketiah <laughs> and it is what it is but he went with a 4-2-3-1 formation and you went with Runderson and goal, uh, Suarez, as I said, the back four. I was actually quite surprised about Pablo Marie um, coming into the, the team. I didn't actually expect him to start the game at all. But, um, you know, he started alongside Mustafi and um, Kalasnach played at left back. And he put Maitland-Niles, Ainsley Maitland-Niles in the midfield alongside um, Mohamed El Nene. And then the three, and as I said, um, Lacazette playing in that number 10 role. He um, had alongside him Pepe on the left, Nelson on the right, who had a fantastic game. Also Pepe, and then up front, Eddie Nketiah. And obviously, um, you know, our goal scorer was, um, was Lacazette. And what a goal it was. That was in the first 10 minutes. Um, picked up the ball from deep, literally turned, started sprinting from about 25, 30 yards out. What a banger in the top corner. Could the keeper have done better? Who knows? But what a... What a goal, what a goal. And, you know, you, you could see the jubilation in him and his celebration running towards the, the what fans there were, which were the 2,000 fans that were in. It was good to see the fans in. And Arteta sort of made um, uh, uh, a point of that in the, the post-match um, press as well to say that it was really great to have the, the, the fans in there. And it really sounded like a lot more than who it was that was in there at the time. But yeah, what what a goal! Um, what a goal! I mean, it was absolutely brilliant. And um, what I liked on on watching the game was that, um, especially in the first half, um, from the clips that I caught, was the fact that the guys were picking up the ball, and it was nice one touch. You know, um, Ainsley Mate and I was linking up well. You know, with Lacazette and 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 Pepe and and playing those one twos and and literally getting the ball forward as quick as possible and that's what I want to see the ball was coming out the back and it was literally Mohamed El Ney would probably pick it up um, in that deep position turn and get that ball forward and that's what I was liking um, and we was getting that ball move forward and, and what I liked about Lacazette in that role which was something that we talked about you know about him maybe playing in that deep line mode it, it gave him more license in terms of he was more creative you know, playing, literally he was turning, he wasn't standing there trying to hold up the ball, he was literally picking up the ball, sometimes coming really deep to pick up the ball, but turning and getting that ball off and getting that pass off as quick as possible. And I thought that was really good. And, um, you know, Pepe and Nelson, uh, that you know, they were just causing havoc down both wings, literally had the licence, they were playing with the handbrake off. Um, I think, I mean, the post-match um, 
Ainsley Maitland Niles was asked, uh, you know, how he thought about the game and what he thought, and he basically said it was just great, you know, was told to go out there, enjoy ourselves, play with a smile on the face, do it for the fans, and that's what they did, exactly what they did, and it was a brilliant, you know, first half, you know, going up, you know, freeing up um, in the game. Um, you couldn't ask for any more, you know, and, um, you know, hopefully, you know, Arteta said that he would like to see this, you know, performance and, and this style of play come the Tottenham game. Now, <laughs> you know, there was a lot of players, obviously, first team players that weren't playing in that game. And it really seems to be the, the Europa League sides that seem to be playing a lot better than um, uh, the Premier League side. So um, I'm just hoping that the players that will come back can replicate um, the performance, albeit it was against Rapid Vienna and, and Tottenham is going to be a different kettle of fish. But listen, we're going to Spurs with, um, you know, no pressure on us. We're the underdogs. Spurs are the ones at the top of the league. So listen, we've got nothing to lose. Let's go there. Let's try and express ourselves. But let's get back to the game um, um, concerning um, Rapid Vienna. And, you know, um, as I said, the the uh, the goal from, from Lacazette was just world class, literally top bins lovely and then you know um pablo marie um for i think it was an assist from a uh, corner from reese nelson um bangs uh, bangs a nice header in coming like i think he he, he kind of sort of glanced it so sort, of, sort of you know just lost his man and and scored the, the, the second goal and, and you know we were there up and cruising you know what i mean i mean you know rapid didn't have a chance they just didn't stand a chance um and you know the the game on, and then the third goal. Uh, what a brilliant team play! You know, playing out from the back. Literally, the pace of which the ball was played, and and the one twos, and and getting the ball through the lines. And that's what I liked. Um, that Lacazette, um, the likes of um, Angel Maitland-Niles, who gave a lot of energy in the middle of that park, and I, it was really good to see him in there. He also he also got an assist. Um, uh, for um, uh, Mill Smith Rowe when he came on so it was just really good to see the legs literally is the one to playing it up the park going through the lines at pace and um, the, I think it was I think the last pass was off, off of Reese Nelson in which um, Eddie Nketiah sort of kind of hit it straight at the keeper was quite fortunate that he, he, he was parried back in front of him and he was able to edit into the back of the net which was really good and we go freeing it up um, in the first half. So that was just really good to see. I'll come out second half. There was a, a five minute, five, maybe possibly 10 minute spell where, you know, we was a little bit, you know I mean, uh, uh, lackadaisical, you know, and that's where the goal um, came from. I can't remember the guy's name, Katawa, I can't pronounce his name. I think it was a, a, a Japanese player or whatever that um, scored that goal. The, the defence... The midfield was a little bit all over the place. I know the you know, um, Kalasnach, um I think put in a block. I think it was like putting a block to us block, but then somehow it, it squirmed up and um, uh, the guy was able to um, put it in the back back of the net. So um, we you know we free one, but then we started to you know um, once that happened, we sort of kind of took wrestled back the game, and you know literally it was Arsenal, and we could have won that game you know um, I know first half Lacazette he hit the post as well you know he could have possibly had three goals so Eddie Nketiah had loads of chances as well and that's the problem really in Eddie Nketiah is just that he's not Premier League standard and yes he got the goal but you, you know you know if you're going to want to be making top four you can't be you know using the lights of this guy um, to to come off the bench and and provide you with that spark. Um, I just don't think he's he's at that level. Um, but as I say, nevertheless, you know, we we um, as I said, wrestled the game back in the second half. Um, had some other chances um, where we we could have put the game totally to bed. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, uh, a few um, subs were made. Um, and I think um, for the subs, you had um, 
And I think they did like at one time, I think there was like a, a free multi sub because obviously in Europa you can have up to five subs. So uh, Danny Sabellas came off at uh, Mohamed El Neni. Whether that means Mohamed El Neni is going to be um, playing in the London North London derby, that remains to be seen. Also, William um, came on for Pepe. Sorry, not Pepe, Reese Nelson. I'm hoping because Reese did have a really good game. He was, he was, listen, he was causing all sorts of problems. He's got pace and he was aggressive and that's what I liked. He was running at them, step overs, crosses, you name it. You know, the amount of crosses we put, the amount of like corners we had, it was really um, um, good to see. Um, he came off and um, William came on. And for me, I think Reese made a good case um, for starting on, on, on Sunday. And it's all right, Arteta coming out and saying, you know, you know, uh, likes of Ainsley Mate and Nazi was asked about him, how he thought he played, and he said he really done well, and it was good to be using him in that that midfield. And um, the chances are is that you probably won't even see um, the likes of Ainsley Mate and Nazi even in the side. Now he's he's a North London, he's a a guy that knows, um, you know, um, the club and knows what it is to play in the North London derby. You need the likes of him in, in that side. I would love it that him and um, Reese Nelson are, 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 are sort of playing in that midfield. If Partey is fit, I mean, we're hearing news and it, it, it seems to be, he, he has said that, you know, he's, he's going to be training with them today. So you never know. You just don't know. I'm hoping that that is the case. He's pushing hard to, <laughs> to come into the side, and I hope, pray God, that he, he does make it. He may start on the bench, um, but um, we'll, we will see. Now, obviously, I didn't even see Grant. I don't even know if Granit Xhaka was even on the bench. I can't, I, if, 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 I, I can't remember the, who was on the on the bench, until, but I don't remember seeing Granit Xhaka on the bench. But God forbid it if he's playing in that game um, on on Sunday, because the guy's just got no legs, and it was quite funny. I seem to be going all over the place, but it was quite funny that um, <laughs> Ainsley was asked um, in the post match. They did an interview with him, and they said, "What well, you know, you know, how did you like the game? So liked it, you know, it was good and whatnot, whatnot." And they said, "Playing in that midfield, you know, how, what did you think about?" It? And he and he came out and basically said, "You know, it was really good because you know he had a bit of legs." <laughs> now you know that was a dig at the man, man like Shaka and and Sabalas because. To be frank, that midfield with Sabalas and Shaka in there, literally, it's them two. It's like they got weights on their feet. Do you know what I mean? What um, Maitland Niles brought to that 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 midfield was energy. Um, him, I mean, it's a pity he didn't get um, a goal. The driving runs that he was making, you know, he obviously created the assist. He could have had a goal or two himself. Just that composure in front of goal, but. You know, that's what he come out and said. He says, yeah, you know, it was good because it, it did, you know, it did have, a, you know, the, the midfield did have a bit of legs. So you can see, you know, he, he didn't pull any punches there. Now, whether Shaka and Sabella sees that and maybe takes it in the wrong way, who knows? But, um, um, so William, you know, came on and, he, you know, in glimpses, he, 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 he was okay. Um, he had a sh couple of shots from outside the box. Um, but there's, I don't know, there's just something not right. Um, just watching him play is, from the Fulham game, that's the only time I've seen that guy play well. And um, I, 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 I don't know. He just, he, he just doesn't see himself. I don't know if he's carrying an injury or what. But you know, I would not like he, I would not like him to be starting either. I just wouldn't like him to be starting either. And um, as I said, um, Smith Rowe came on for Alexander. Lacazette so the chances are that Lacazette will probably play in that game will Arteta play him in that deep line role will he go with that or will he just go to the trusted 3-4-4 four, four, uh, play with a 5 at the back uh, you know I don't know because it depends on how Spurs set up and then um, Callum Chambers which was great to see coming back after a long term injury I don't know if he's played any under 23s but he came back um in, in place of um, he came in and uh, seventieth minute substitute for uh, Mustafi, and uh, Balogun came on in the eighty first minute for Eddie Nketiah. I would have liked to have seen Balogun play a bit longer, 
um, you know, come on a bit early in the game. I shout for him to come on, you know what I mean? Because, you know, 4-1, you know, bring him on, you know what I mean? See what this guy can do, you know? You're giving him 10 minutes, you know what I mean? But for the little 10 minutes that he was on, you, you can see the qualities, levels above Enketia as far as I'm concerned. That's my, my personal opinion. Put it in the comments, tell me what you think. But, um, yeah, um, so it was an all-round good performance, um, really pleased, as I said, um, going into um, the game on Sunday. Um, this will give us a little bit of confidence um, and hopefully that will transmit onto the other um, team players that will obviously be picked for that game. I'm hoping Aubameyang is watching that game and thinking, right, come on, you know, how long can it be before this guy starts um, showing some form at the moment? He's um, out of form at the moment. So, what we're what we're hoping for is that come Sunday, you know, um, this team is absolutely focused and ready to go. As I said, form goes out the window, and we just want a result. Play, I say play with the hand break off, but we have to be careful. Um, you you saw Man City going to Spurs, um, who basically had what twenty two shots on goal with um, Spurs is four and. They end up winning the game 2 0. So I know Arteta will go in there cautious, but at the same time, it's a North London derby and they have to, the players need to know what this means. And I'm hoping that Bamiang will turn up for this. He normally turns up in these sort of games, so I'm hoping that he will turn up against them. Obviously, Spurs went away to Lask and drew three. It wasn't a very good performance. Um, Son started for them, uh, Bale um, and Don Blay was in there couple of players was in there so you know because obviously he wanted to go there and, and win win and, and obviously they've qualified but it wasn't a good performance but let's not let that kind of cloud cloud our, our, our vision when it comes to um, Sunday you know what I mean just because they drew it doesn't mean anything um, so yeah so Sunday is massive but I'm going to obviously give you the player ratings and who I what I thought and who the man of the match was. So starting off with the goalkeeper, um, Renison didn't have much to do. To be perfectly honest, um, the only time was to go and pick the ball at the back of the net. Could he have done better on that? It's difficult. It's difficult to say because um, it was quite close to him. But it, it is what it is. So I'm going to give Renison a five. Um, Cedric Suarez um, on the right side um, had an okay game again. Um, Got up and down the field um, where possible. A couple of times, their 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 player on that side did um, give him a, a couple of runarounds, you know. But um, do you know, at the end of the day, would I have him over Bellerin? Probably. <laughs> but you know, he's, he 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 played an okay game. Uh, I would give um, Cedric a six. Um, next to Cedric was um, Mustafi. Mustafi is Mustafi. Um, there was one point in the game where um, he just, just goes to ground too easy. Um, he should have scored as well. Um, but he, I just don't trust this player. I mean, Mustafi is Mustafi. The old mistakes will come back. There was one ball that came over the top. And for some reason, all he had to do was just jump and edit it. And he's pushing the guy. And he ends up falling on the floor. Lucky enough, um, he, he, I think it was swept up by um, either the keeper or, or, or another player coming around um, to cover for him. And I, I just don't trust this guy. I just don't trust him or whatever. And probably out of the four defenders, I probably think he was maybe the worst. So I'm giving Mustafi a five. Next to him, Pablo Marie, who had a steady game, scored a goal from a header, very composed on the ball. You could see from his size, won everything um, in terms of um, headers coming um, over to him in the air, which is really good to see. Um, and just very organised, you know what I mean. I I wouldn't. He 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 would be too soon for him to be linking up with um Gabriel, um for the North London. But maybe for the future that them two will be a possible pairing. It's a pity the situation with William Sleeper. I don't know, um what's happening with that. But um, <sighs> I, I that, that's that's another whole another story. But. Yeah, but Pablo Marie, I'm going to give Pablo Marie a seven. I'm going to give Pablo Marie a seven. Um, Kolasinac played at left back, um, you know, got forward where he could, 
put in two good defensive blocks. Had an okay game, um, you know, um, but, you know, it is rapid Vienna. Um, you know, as I said, he did get forward uh, quite a bit. Um, and, yeah, give him a six. I'll give, give Klasinac a six. Um, in terms of um, the midfield, uh, Mohamed El Nene um, just kept things ticking over. You know, um, just 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 is Mar what Mohamed El Nene does, which is just literally get the ball and get it forward. You know, and that was good to see. Do you know, I mean, just kept things simple. Um, looked a bit a little shaky in, in some in situations, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, whether he's going to start on Sunday, I don't know. Um, that's the big question. But I'll give Mohamed El Nene a six as well. Um, next to him, Ainsley Maitland Niles, who uh, had an assist, was very energetic in that midfield. Literally was very aggressive. The link up play between him, Lacazette, Pepe, Nelson, that was really good. And you could see there was a lot of energy in that middle of the park. And um, I'm giving Ainsley Maitland Niles, pity he didn't score, but I'm going to give him a seven. I'm going to give Ainsley Maitland Niles a seven. Nelson on the right side. Um, I thought he played well, um, you know, literally, I mean, obviously he came off, um, so he didn't play a full game, but what I saw from him, just dynamic, running out there, they're just causing all sorts of problems, getting the crosses in, all the trickery and everything, do you know what I mean? And that was really pleasing to see. And hopefully, you know, um, you know, Arteta will consider him to start. I think he, he he's made a case to start in the North London derby. He can cause um, their left back and their right back or whoever, you know, is playing their back some problems. Do you know what I mean? So I would love to see him start on, on Sunday. But I'm going to give um, Nelson an eight. I'm going to give Nelson an eight. Um, the left side, Pepe, who um, I thought was the man of the match. You know, the guy was causing all sorts of problems. Um, and... Um, he was just given the license to, 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 to play, do you know what I mean? That freedom to play. Albeit sometimes, you know, there was a little times where I got a little bit frustrated with him and I didn't notice Arteta getting frustrated with him. There's one point where he was in the, the box and he, you know, he, he it's just a pity he didn't have a right foot on him. Or, you know, he takes that extra, extra touch when he should pass it or lay it off. And that's the only thing that... Part Arteta has to coach out of him. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes it's almost like he's playing street football. He's very good. He's very skillful. I mean, the guy literally just was scaring the pants off of these guys. Do you know what I mean? And for me, you know, in terms of the energy between him and Nelson, that's where they kind of set the tone, which is really good to see. I'm going to give Pepe... I'm going to give Pepe a... I think... You know, I know people are bushing out nines and whatever, but I'm going to give Pepe an eight as well. I'm going to give Pepe an eight as well. And obviously, I'm giving making a man a match. I know you're thinking, well, give Nelson an eight. And, but I just I just feel that um, if Pepe was a bit more um, purposeful in terms of, you know, once that he, 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 he gets past that player, he doesn't need to take a second touch or do another step over, lay the ball off, get your head up, See what's going on in front of you. So I'm going to give him a hate. Lacazette also scored a banger and, and just was working really hard. And it seems as if maybe Arteta may field him in that, that, that particular role as that kind of that number 10. You know, a lot of us have been calling to see what he would be like playing in that role. And to be honest, he really did do well. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, come Sunday that, Arteta sticks with that um, and he's not doing all this backing up into them and that because um, for me that just doesn't work it just doesn't work and I'm going to give Art, I'm going to give Lacazette a 7 I'm going to give Lacazette a 7 um, up front Eddie Nketiah even though he got the goal he, he could have done better but as I said he's not he's not a Premier League player I, I've got to be honest he's just not a Premier League player and um you know, it's just it's a pity. You know, what I mean, he he's not the guy to go and take us to um, top four. You know, and um, I just think he needs to probably either go on loan somewhere, learn his trade, build, you know, bulk up a bit, 
and uh, see what happens. But I'm going to give Eddie and Ketty a five. Um, I'll give him a five. Um, so that's the 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 outfield players, the play, the players that came on. Um, Danny Sabalas come on, and uh, he came on in the sixth third minute, and uh, just kind of slotted in. Um, had uh, I think a shot from outside, just went wide of the post. Um, but again, I, I I'm hoping he's not starting in the in in the North London game. I don't know what what Arteta's plans are, or whatever. But Danny Sabalas, he's not the player of the last, end of last season. And, and um, you know, the sooner this season is up, and he, he needs to just come back off alone and just go back and join up with Real Madrid because he's not solving our problem. He's literally, you know, in in, in that midfield, is is it just it's, things are just slowed down too much. I don't know what happened to that tenacious guy, or, or at the end of last season, but he, he's not doing it for me at the moment. Uh, I'm giving Daniel Sabalas also a five as well. Um, William came on. Again, he had a couple of shots from outside the box. It was quite energetic, but it just doesn't look it just, just doesn't look the William that you saw for Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? As I said, the only time I've seen him play well, and that was the Fulham game. And other that other than that, nothing else, nothing else. Um and I'm gonna also give William also a five as well. I'm gonna give William a five as well. Um and Mel Swift Row came on. Um and uh, linked up really well um, with um, uh, the, the the front three, and I felt that um, you know, he got a goal as well. And for the time that he was on, he made a difference. Do you know what I mean? Playing those through balls, gets his head up, keeps it simple, which is what I really do like. You know, he pops off when he gets the ball, he pops it off quick, then moves into space, and that's what I like. And he's always trying to get that ball forward. And trying to create something. Um, I'm going to give a Smith Rowe. I'm going to give him a six. Um, Callum Chambers um, came on obviously from a long term injury. Um, he came on and slotted in um, for uh, Mustafi. Uh, I'm going to give Callum Chambers. Um, yeah, I'm going to give him a six as well. Give Callum Chambers a six. And Balogun, uh, you know, he only had 10 minutes or so. Come on. But what I do like about this guy is that. He, he he's he's very strong. He knows where the space is. He, you know his movement is really good, which I like. And even though it was a ten minute cameo, in those ten minutes I saw enough to say that this guy um, should be playing or should be playing or being a part more of this first team, especially for the, for the, the Premier League side. Um, so we just have to just watch this space and see what happens. Obviously the contract situation and everything. But we'll see what happens. Um, but um, yeah, um, I'm gonna give Balogun. I'm gonna give him a five as well because uh, obviously he didn't have a long to come on. Um, Arteta. I'm gonna give Arteta um, an eight. Um, you know, you know, 